Why does Pit Boy never sleep in the top bunk? He's scared he might fall out! Oh, screw you, that was funny! Hello YouTube! It's Dominoid here once again with a box. And in this latest unboxing, I'm going to be showing you just the one item. Oh, I got me a Fallout Anthology. So in case you've been living under a rock for the last few months, you'll no doubt have noticed that there is a fourth game in the Fallout series being released very, very soon. Now, to celebrate this fact, what Bethesda have done is they have released the Fallout Anthology. It's a re-release collection of all of the original games in what has to be the most original and unique packaging that I've ever seen. Uh, so, let's have a look around the back here and I'll show you what you get. So, you get the original Fallout, you get Fallout 2, you get Fallout Tactics. You get the Game of the Year edition of Fallout 3, and you get the Ultimate Edition of New Vegas. So, if you're behind on the series, this will get you right the way up to Fallout 4. Uh, there is also, if you see here, there's space to put Fallout 4 in when it is released later on in the year. It's got the PC system requirements, points out that you need an internet connection in order to activate it. Grrr. But I'll live with that, it's fine. I do have an internet connection. So flip back around to the front here and you can see you've got Pip-Boy adorning the front. It's see-through packaging, so you immediately see what you're going to get. There's a little bit of damage to the packaging here. Thank you, Royal Mail. But fortunately, as you know, I'm not one to worry too much about packaging, so I'm okay with that. The main thing is that I have the contents. And it took a little bit of time to get said contents. I'll explain about that a little bit later. Let's have a look. So it's quite a nice little presentation here. Flip the top off, there's a bit of cardboard keeping it in place. And then we've got the main meat and bones of the packaging is this, which you'll no doubt have noticed, is a replica nuclear bomb. Uh, it is plastic, but it does a very good job of looking like a full-on real metal nuclear bomb. There's even a warning label, look, keep away from children under 12. Because once you hit 13, an atomic blast is nothing. But under 12, oh, no, 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 no. They've gone with a, a sort of worn effect on the paint. Really, really nicely done. It does look like it is made of metal. It looks like it's a piece that should be in a museum, bar the fact that it's obviously comical from the warning label. Also, the items in museums tend not to do this. What's better than games that come in exploding packaging? Because, tell me, I don't know, genuinely. I mean, that's amazing. Um, top bit here rotates but doesn't seem to do anything. The whole top half comes off and that reveals then the items inside that you actually wanted the game. So we pop this little pretty slip cover off and you can see we have got Fallout, Fallout 2, Fallout Tactics, Fallout Game of the Year Edition, Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition and then we've got this, <gasps> Fallout 4. Did they drop in a, a, a random pre-release copy of Fallout 4 for me? <gasps> I must open it up immediately and find, oh look, it's an empty case. Yes, the idea is that when Fallout 4 arrives, that you pop it into that empty slipcase and then you've got a complete set all in the same packaging. And presumably they're expecting some kind of expansion pack because there's some loose space in here as well. All the others do actually come with discs. We'll pop the discs out and have a quick look. So we've got an advert for Dishonored 2 and Doom, both coming out in 2016. Uh, we've got the uh, we've got the instructions here to 
Well, it's not even instructions. It's just a safety notice. Look, warning, read this important safety information, which is basically you might get seizures if you play this. Don't sue us. And there's another bit of paper explaining the uh, the waste electronic entertainment equipment legislation. I think it's, I don't know, the Wii Directive. And uh, here we have the games then. So we've already seen the empty slipcase ready for Fallout 4 to go into it. And we've got Fallout New Vegas. This is the ultimate edition. And they're very matching packaging that they've got. So we've got here Fallout 3 Game of the Year edition. And we've got Fallout Tactics here. And then we've got Fallout 2 in that rather pretty blue colour. And finally, we've got one that started it out, the original Fallout, a post-nuclear role-playing game. Sometimes I wonder if I'm definitely getting my money's worth with what I'm buying. A uh, new Assassin's Creed game is a good case in point. There's a version where the main character is standing on a portion of the Westminster Clock Tower, and they call it the Big Ben Limited Edition, which annoys me anyway, but still, that costs over 100 quid. It's like about 150 quid or something silly like that. And it just, for a game and a statue, it just seems far too much for me. And I, I wouldn't feel I'm getting good value. In comparison, though, this cost me 40 quid. That is the exact same price as a release copy of any new game that you care to mention. But for that, I'm getting five AAA titles, all of their downloadable content, and an incredibly unique packaging item. Now this is gonna go up as decoration on the shelves. It's a really nice little item. So I definitely feel that I've got my money's worth here. I've got hours of gameplay with the games that are included. And it was a nice little touch to give the slipcase for the new game so that you don't feel that your games don't have matching packaging. If you are a bit of a collector, then that's something that you potentially you may be worried about. Well, they've already got you covered with that. So, nice touch. Thank you, Bethesda. I really enjoyed this. Also, while I'm here, I want to give a shout out to game.co.uk in making sure that I got this. Now, I had a bit of a problem with the pre-order in as much as I pre-ordered it months and months ago and in the time between pre-ordering and release uh, my card had expired and I'd received a new debit card. So I got an email on the day of what would have been the day of dispatch when they would have charged the card telling me actually your card hasn't been charged. Uh, please get in contact with us. So I was absolutely worried that I wasn't going to get my pre-order at that point. And it did take a couple of days to get hold of them because their phone lines were massively, massively busy. This came out on the same day as FIFA 16, which didn't help. However, when I did finally get hold of them, they were incredibly helpful, incredibly friendly and understanding as to what had happened. They allowed me to reopen the order with no problems at all. And the girl on the other end of the line also spotted that the reason they hadn't phoned me proactively already was because I didn't have a phone number set up on my account and arranged to set that up for me as well. So very good proactive customer service there. And I think we're very good as gamers at pointing out when things go bad and demonizing companies. So actually, Game gave me great customer service this time. So thank you, Game. Really appreciate that. So I'm off to the park to scare children with this. Thank you very, very much, YouTube, for your time. Do, do appreciate it very much, as always. Please remember to click that like button, to click the subscribe button if you haven't already, and you can be the first to see my new videos. In the meantime, though, thank you very much for your time, and I will see you soon. Cheers, YouTube. I keep this and stick it on eBay later. Yeah, if you like pencils and you like Star Wars, you'll probably love these. <laughs>